Welcome, Taurus, to Petrella's Intuitive Insight. This is a brief overview of July 1st to the 15th of 2023. As I get into uh, the video, those of you who have been with my channel, I am um, outside here, so you will not hear sirens or people yelling and screaming or anything quite like that. But I do have a pack of maremas, so you may hear or see them in the background. And of course, the wild nature. So if a bird starts chirping right here, I really have no control of those sorts of things. <laughs> so uh, just explaining that my rooster may crow in the middle of this and I cannot offer apologies. I just can't. So this is what I'm doing and I'm outside here. Uh, and let's just continue with the Taurus. Oh, you're earth sign. So maybe this will suit you well. Um, Taurus, I really want to call um, stillness and simplicity, stillness and simplicity into play for the Taurus. I feel that during this particular time, don't let too much start going on in your mind. Do not make it bigger than it is. Uh, sobriety, stillness, simplicity, three S words for the month of July. <coughs> With the divine, all things are possible. A clear mind. You need to keep your mind clear. Some of you are excessive mind chatter, Taurus. It's just taking you over. You need to clear your mind and decide you're moving up this time. You're out of the dark and into the light. You're going to try to do what's what's right. That's what the Taurus is up to. You have friends and family that are here to help you. Out of the dark and into the light, you're going to try to do what's right. You have friends and family giving you a step up. They're going to help you... Uh, You know what, for some of you, Taurus, you may be going through a domestic, um, maybe separating for a while with your significant other or something here. Uh, I mean, the card denotes, if you read the card, I'll just set it up there. I actually just look at the picture, but uh, as I was looking at the picture, it denotes some of you may be getting a divorce and on the bright side, some of you, it could ensure domestic happiness. However, the money card came out. And the sun card. So I feel that the money is going to be there for you, Taurus. Family squabbling, quarreling. Yeah, discontentment. This does not necessarily need to be with your significant other. Yeah, here's the man but it could be with um, other, uh, somebody close by. It could be a, a family member, somebody that you work, a partnership of some sort, somebody that you work with, but it seems to be more of a masculine energy and the quarreling. Here's the, uh, a new residence, a new home for the Taurus. Uh-huh. Yeah, the money's opening up again for the Taurus and the playing friendly. So I feel so many of you <clears throat> are in a situation where this, you may have felt tight with money, but now the money is really flowing. Different opportunities, a possible move is opening up. This is what could cause the excessive mind chatter to where the Taurus, you need to pray and meditate. Align your heart and your mind with the divine. You're taking a journey. I just heard another journey. So some of you may be taking these trips, maybe day trips, short trips.
Taurus. Wow. Yeah, things are going to start happening fast now. If your life has been <clears throat> kind of slow, 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 uh, same, you know, not moving in a real clear direction, it's going to start moving quickly. So you're going to take action and then action's going to happen. But remember the stillness and the simplicity. Okay, oddly enough, these two cards are actually saying the same thing. As this is all going on, Taurus, you may uh, have to endure the presence of a mighty enemy. This could be a person, and this could actually even be you holding yourself back with that some kind of addiction, that sobriety. Uh, Let's, let's pull another card just for this now. Please explain this for the Taurus for the month of July. This, ooh, yeah, partying on. Somebody's drinking too much, partying on. I think that maybe when you uh, are overindulging, oh, look at the bottom of the deck. You put an arrow in Cupid's heart, not once, but twice. And that's not very nice. Okay, so, and this could be you, Taurus. Somebody put the arrow in your heart. <sighs> Any last messages for Taurus? Look, Taurus, it looks good for you. It looks like there's a real blessing here for you, Taurus. I'm going to um, ask about the Taurus strengths and your weaknesses, your shadow side. And I really feel your shadow side is so, this some sort of addiction. And look, it doesn't even need to be a chemical, Taurus. It could be an addiction to fill the blank. When it's out of balance, it's out of balance. Taurus, what does the Taurus strength for July 1st to the 15th of 2023? What would the strength of the Taurus be? That's interesting. When you Taurus are focused, you're focused. When you have an agenda, you have an agenda and you become focused, organized, dif disciplined. Look, this is what you need because with the divine, all things are possible, but they're not gonna pick you up and just move you somewhere. You're gonna have to be involved. Focused, organized, disciplined. Look at that cat in the picture, how it just kind of like blends in, but it is focused. Even in the midst of the snow, that's, you know, for those of you that don't live in an area that snows, when it snows, a lot of scent and everything could be covered. That cat is focused. Shadow side. Ooh, forgiveness. Okay, Taurus, this is your shadow side. So when you hold a grudge, you can really hold a grudge. That can hold you back. This is what I see in my mind's eye and I tell my clients that call me for private readings. When you cannot forgive, first of all, that doesn't mean they're your new next best friends. That No, that doesn't mean that. That means that you forgive them. What means the success of mind chatter and the what if, or I could have, or I should have. You don't play that, you release that. It's like if you're stretching out your arms, like all on one arm on each side, straight out, and you're marching forward every day, like a half a mile, and every day, Everybody that that forgiveness is hung on to you and you're dragging them with you on a heavy, heavy rope. It makes your moving forward much more difficult. Cut that rope with forgiveness. Cut it loose and say, look, you're not even worth my time. I forgive you. Let it go. Uh, and for some of you where the wound is still fresh, you're going to say, I can't let it go. The wound's still fresh. Well, you know what? Maybe give it a time or two. But really... When it comes to your mind, you need to release it. Don't give it the energy. Put that energy into your present day moment. And you know what? 
uh, that in, in itself is a part of the forgiveness. And uh, forgiveness will eventually come. And some of you actually may have to focus on your forgiveness. I don't want, you know, look, if this resonated, and I'm trying to get my channel to grow, it's fast, it's free. If you hit the click, like, share, subscribe, and I think um, leave a kind comment. It could even be a nice emoji, I, I believe. But uh, that one is fast and it's free. And it would help my channel, it would help me. Uh, private readings, Petrella's Intuitive Insights.com. And I also got that coffee, buy me a coffee. I woke up this morning and somebody bought me a coffee and that was really cool. So I just would like to say Taurus, thank you and God bless you.